Let's get it. Yeah, yeah. Hi, everyone. I'm actually gonna show you guys how I do a D, like a do it yourself, like a DIY hair mask. So basically, all you need is coconut oil. And that is actually all you need. Maybe a spoon, Tupperware. Normally when I do a hair mask, it's when my hair is dirty. And because I don't wash my hair every day, I try to go as long as possible without washing it. As you can see, it's really greasy. It's probably been about four days since I've washed it. I normally, I would probably go longer, but um, my hair feels really dry on my ends. So I'm actually going to do a hair mask and I thought I'd show you guys. Before I do anything, I grab my coconut oil and this is the one that I use. I get a little Tupperware and then a big one. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I guess it depends on how much hair you have and that would base off, I mean I've used a lot of this. I cook with this probably about it I use out my hair and I cook with it but there's a lot of benefits to coconut oil based off of how much hair you have that'll probably decide on that'll help you decide on how much you want to put in here but I'd rather go more than not enough you know so I, I always just guess and it looks like that I got kind of a lot but that's because my hair is tragic so basically I got this much, you can see it, kind of looks like that, and I'm going to put the lid on it because you got to make sure you have a lid for it, and then I'm going to put hot water in this and then put this in there so that it melts it because you're not supposed to, well at least what I read, you're not supposed to put it in the microwave and heat it up that way because I guess it takes out some of the nutrients in it, so I'm going to put some hot water in it. Okay, so I basically put about this much water in it basically actually I did put that much water in it and I'm just gonna plop that sucker right in there and it doesn't take too long to melt it maybe 10 minutes if that but I'm gonna melt that and then put it all over my hair it's taking forever I'm kind of like shaking it up you can see it's watery now but there's still chunks in it okay so now that it's come I'm like, no, can you see it? Now that it's completely melted, I'm literally going to spoon this, um, spoon it, <laughs> spoon this, why am I stuck? Spoon this on my hair. So I rinsed this off because it was like thick. Take it and pour it in my hand like that. And then I try to do it over the sink, but I'm trying to show you. And then I just brush it onto my hair. And make sure you brush your hair out so it's not all knotty whenever you go to put it in there. See the difference already? <laughs> I'm gonna do it again. And then I'll kind of like go like this and like drizzle it down. And then run that through. Look at the difference. <laughs> well, my hair looks wet, but not supposed to be that frizzy and so I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side off camera so now my hair looks like it's wet really really wet and I'm just running the excess after pouring it all over like from here down a lot on my ends I did a lot on my ends and then now I'm just gonna run the excess because you can see how oily my hands are maybe and I'm just gonna run that through the like my roots so now after I put it everywhere all I'm gonna do is for one make sure you do it if you know you're staying home which I am I have to run somewhere but I don't care if my hair looks like this but do it at nighttime because then you would let it sit in your hair all night long so what I'm gonna do is pull it up use my little pony thing just like that and I'm gonna let it sit all night long like I said and then I will be back in the morning to show you guys the difference it made in my hair because you saw what it looked like prior to this and then I'll show you in the morning so I'm gonna go to sleep and I'll see you guys when I wake up 
Okay, so I'm pretty sure you guys can see how easily my comb is running through my hair. Oh, my hair feels so soft and so good. So after I rinse it out, I always shampoo it like normal. So I let it sit all night and then get up whenever you're ready to shower. Okay, so I'm going to dry it and then show you guys what it looks like. Normally, I don't dry my hair. I actually let it air dry. But just for the video's sake, I'm going to blow dry it. So I'll be back. So I've blow dried my hair and... Of course, it's a tad bit frizzy because that's just how my hair is. But if you can see the difference as opposed to like what it was before, it's insane. I literally, my hair is so soft. Like I love doing this hair mask. I'll show you the final product when I just smooth it out so it doesn't look as crazy. And then you guys can see and hopefully do the same to your hair. Okay, so I straightened my hair. Well, I actually use this smoothing iron. It's more like a smoother rather than a straightener. It was shiny and smooth and soft. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of put too much spray in my hair, so it's a little bit greasy. Not like greasy, but it just feels kind of heavy today. It's like all natural. If you saw, if you remember seeing it from yesterday, even though it's the same video, it was an organic um, coconut oil. You should do it if you want your hair to look like that. I feel kind of out of it today. So if you like the way that this turned out, you should definitely do this. Do the, di, di, di. I always stutter. You should definitely do this to your hair. You won't regret it. I just thought I would share this little at home hair mask regimen with you guys. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye.